Good evening. I would like to share something that I heard from a Rabbi Donenfeld that I think it's a beautiful idea. He spoke, he spoke about it in relation to the holiday of Purim. The holiday of Purim is not usually observed by Noahides, but it's observed by Jews around the world. Uh, but the concept, I think it's a beautiful concept. As far as what the holiday of Purim, there's, there, there's four main commandments or mitzvahs that Jewish people do on Purim. Uh, one of them is to give food to the poor, money to the poor. One is to that you don't at the point that you don't even ask whether the person's really poor or not. If anybody comes to you to ask for money, you give it to them. Now's not the time for you to ask. Um, one is to give out gifts to everybody, you know, poor and not poor. Everybody goes and gives gifts to his friends, children give to their friends, to have a big meal today together and to go out and communally read the the Megillah. And it's all these have to do with the, everybody coming together and doing the mitzvahs together and interacting and unifying everybody else. But it's interesting. Purim is the only holiday of the year in the Jewish calendar that some Jews observe it on the 14th of Adar and some Jews observe it on the 15th of Adar. The 15th of Adar is in a walled city such as Jerusalem. They observe it on 15th. So if you were in Jerusalem on the 14th, you wouldn't be doing any of the mitzvahs, but the rest of the Jewish people throughout the world, they would be listening to the Megillah and having the meals and giving the charity during that time. But in but in Jerusalem, they don't do any of that until it's the 15th the next day, as opposed to, and then the same way, on the, 14th, on the 15th, when in Jerusalem, they're reading the Megillah and giving money to the poor and giving gifts to their friends and having the meals. And the, the people that live not in the walled cities, not in Jerusalem, they don't, aren't doing anything. For them, it's for more or less a regular day. So it's interesting that it's a one holiday throughout the year that the Jewish people observe on two different days. Um, which is very unusual. So what he go on to explain, he uh, he went on to explain that it's very important when they, also, even when it was the splitting of the sea, that Yaakov, Jacob had 12 sons. When they split the sea, when they, with Kriyas Yamsuf, there were 12 different paths that the Jewish people went in. When you learn the Torah, the Torah, there's meant there's 70 different ways that the Torah could be interpreted and different ways. And so the point being at the holiday of Purim, is that we're supposed to realize that there, there, it's okay to be different, but, you know, and you still can be united. That there's, just because there's different people and different thoughts and different customs and different laws and things like that, you can all still be coming together and be united on the common goal. And that's one of the reasons that I'm doing these things, that the whole world should be united, you be, should be united under one God, that everyone should do the Shabbat Mitzvah B'nai Noach to learn about God and to do what God wants and to relish in their role, however God created them, to relish in their role that he created them for a reason and that we could all be different, yet we could all be united for the same purpose. Thank you. Have a good night.